Hi guys, it's Mina. Welcome back. <laughs> Today is such an awesome day. I am super excited. We are doing a collaboration pour with the very lovely Candace White. Uh, you should check out her channel. I will link it up here for you. She's a very, very sweet lady. Beautiful lady. And she had suggested we do a collaboration with these colors. So we've been talking about it for a while and we're going to do it today. So let me show you the colors, which are so awesome. The first one is Red Ochre by Artist Loft. Beautiful color. Nice and deep. Blends beautifully. I have my pouring medium today is Liquitex Gloss Medium and Varnish, as always, with the paint and some Floetrol. And that's it. So it is leaving a mound on a mound on a mound. I am still having flow trail issues. So all my cups, instead of being full to here, which they normally are, are full to this line right there. So that's about half the amount, yeah, two thirds the amount of paint I usually get. So I'm having flow trail issues. So, but I've still mixed my paint so that it's a normal consistency for me, which is why I just have half as much paint now. So this one is Naples Yellow, which is also from Artist Loft. Very, very pretty color. I really like this palette, very soft, very, but there's still some bold parts too. This one is Golden's Turquoise. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeousness. Amazing color, I really love this. <laughs> Turquoise obsession now. <laughs> Van Dyke Brown. And this is such a beautiful palette right here. This, these, these two together specifically, the Van Dyke Brown and that Turquoise together, are just, it's such a beautiful contrast to each other and they play off of each other so nice and it's cool because it could be feminine but it could also be very masculine so if you have like a guy that lives alone he doesn't want a really feminine type painting so that's a really good color combination I really like it a lot anyway okay 24 karat gold from Deco Art Metallics Deco Art is it <laughs> I totally lost it Americana De Deco Art, Americana Deco Art Metallics and 24 karat gold. You've typed it so many times you have it memorized, right? Okay, so that's the 24 karat gold. This one is champagne gold, also from Deco Art, Americana Deco Art Metallics. Champagne gold. It's a little darker, but a very, very pretty. I like them both. I like them both a lot, especially with these colors. And the last one we are using is also Deco Art. This is the neutral beige. Decor, Americana Decor, Satin Enamels in Neutral Beige. A little bit thinner than I want. Okay, and I have another cup of the Neutral Beige for my base cup. So, I want to show you the two test pieces that I did before because I really, really like this palette a lot. It's beautiful. So, this is the first one that I did. I'll put it on top of here so you can see it nice. This is one test piece we did. I really like how it turned out. I love the champagne cells that came up. And I really like the turquoise and the red ochre together. So, and the Naples yellow was beautiful. I actually did another pour that I'm not going to show you because it's big. <laughs> and I don't want to go get it. But I'll show you the one that I did with the leftover with that one. Okay. Let me show you the other one. Not that one? No. Oh. So this is what I use the leftovers from that pour that I'm not going to show you. <laughs> On this one. I really like this and I just did a, a wandering straight pour and then tilted it side to side. So, but I love this color. This turquoise and the, the red ochre in here came out really, really cool. But this one came out cool. So that was the other test piece. So, to that effect, what do we want to put in there first? I think we're going to use the neutral beige as our base coat. And I do want to do a wandering straight pour. So, I think I want to start with some turquoise. Because that's what's going to end up on that. You got to kind of think of like, so you picture how it gets layered in the cup, and then picture that kind of like folding like a taco. Because <laughs> that's what's happening, and that's how it's going to pour out. So, I don't know, that's just how I think of it when I'm doing this. Okay, so always keeping contrast in mind. That's what we're looking for. That's what we really, really want, is the contrast. That's what your eye goes to and likes. A little bit of gold. Now I'm going to go with a little bit of the neutral beige. Not a lot. And we're going to go right in with the red ochre. And now the champagne gold. And we're going to go to the Van Dyke Brown. Such a beautiful color, like espresso. Um, do I want to put some? Yeah, okay, we'll go a little bit of neutral beige. And then we're going to use 
the Naples yellow. And I'm gonna go back to the turquoise, actually. Yeah. Another red ochre. And some gold. So that's our cup is ready. Let's move these out of the way. And I think I'm going to thin out my base coat a little bit more. Yeah. Right, it's pretty good actually. It's thin, it's thinner than that stuff. Okay. This one is a 24 by 36 inch gallery wrapped canvas from Artist Loft. You can get them at Michael's. Get them while they are on sale. <laughs> Very good deals. Okay. So, let's see. Okay. That's okay. All right, here we go. I'm more concerned about getting this around to the corners and not so much in the middle because I'm going to be pouring and it's going to go in the middle. So just want to make sure we have enough. Yeah, I'm glad I didn't water it down any more than that. It's already pretty floppy. <laughs> Down a little bit of gold. I think I'm gonna kind of go across this. Okay. So this is just gonna be like a little mini guide for me to pour onto to keep track of where I want to be. Sort of. Okay. Here we go. Okay, I'm excited. A second to develop and there's all these little cells coming up through here okay that's really neat i think i want to take my turquoise just kind of go along the edge This is really pretty. Can you get like close in here where there's this neutral beige and then this gold and then the red ochre and then the champagne and then the turquoise. That's gorgeous. It's a Van Dyke brown and just this strip of turquoise through there. So, look at all those cute little cells. Yay! Adorable in here. This is so pretty. That's the turquoise and then the, I guess the, it's gotta be the neutral beige. Or it might be the Naples yellow actually. And then there's like a little layer. Oh, it's so pretty. Okay, this is really pretty too. Just beautiful. Okay, let's see what happens. I'm excited. Okay. So we're just gonna kind of go back and forth first. Sort of spread out the paint. 
incorporated into that turquoise on the side. This is how I get decorated. <laughs> okay, that's pretty cool. Take it back the other direction now a little bit. This is really pretty in here. what this turquoise is doing. Okay, I think we need a little more paint. <laughs> okay, let's see. What do I like and what do I not like? I love the turquoise. I love that red ochre and the gold. I love that, but I like all of it. It's a little bit too much brown over there, so thinner layer of brown initially. But that's really cool. Let's see, speaking of the brown. I think I want to kind of go in here a little bit. There's squirrel over there. <laughs> Squirrel! <laughs> Actually, it's probably a lizard in this case. I saw a lizard yesterday on the fountain. He was really cute. There's still paint in there. Okay. Uh, let's put some more paint in there. I'm just going to put a little bit over here and maybe a little bit over here. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Okay. Here we go. See what happens. So we're gonna kind of move it that way first. To incorporate that. Wow, it's a lot heavier now. Huh? Look at those cute little cells down there. That's adorable. Okay, we're gonna go over to the corner. But I don't really want to go off. I'm gonna keep some of the turquoise. Okay, I'm gonna stop there because this is starting to move around. And I can fix this in a minute. Blob. Okay, we're gonna kind of go that way and go off the edge and keep some of that turquoise because it's really cute. Go, Mike, go. Cool, I like it. 
toes. So I have the paint, the weight of the paint is in the middle now. Go down this way a little bit and see if we can't clean this up just a little bit or make it more interesting. Okay, the paint is moving right there now. And you can control the speed that it moves. If you lower it down, it goes slower. If you bring it up, it goes higher faster <laughs> but this is really pretty how it's opening up now I just let a lot of this go off actually I realize the paintings of my own that I really really like are the ones that I've stretched it a lot even when it seems like it's weird I really like how it turns out so I'm good with that <laughs> okay a little bit more and then I'm going to bring it back this way a touch. Okay, now we're going to bring that corner down. And let this all straighten out and fix itself a bit. Something went off. I like that. Sorry, I'm going to turn around in just a second. I just need to look at it. I like that brown in there. It's really cool. Oh, this is neat. Very cool. I'm not sure about this, but I think I like this part very much, so I'm going to take some of that. Is it starting to slide? Okay. That's cool. I'm going to open up the top over here even more and stretch it out, which is fine if it moves too. I'm okay with that. start to see drips like that then you know tilt it to the side walk it spread it out a bit so it's not going down in one straight drip it's pretty cool actually <laughs> still not crazy about this let's see sometimes this will slide off because that's not moving very much anymore, which is good. But this part still is, so. Okay, go. <clears throat> Almost there. This part's beautiful, too. I love it. Really cool. That's such a gorgeous palette. Thank you, Candace. This was really fun. I had a good time with this. Just a second more. See, it's still moving. If it had stopped moving, then we wouldn't be standing here still. But the fact that it is still moving means that there's still paint on there that could come off. So, it's okay. I'm gonna stop there. And then I want to torch it. Oops. Just come back for one second to sort of let it distribute back in this direction. Okay. This is really pretty. There's some really cool stuff going on in here. Let's torch it real quick. Okay, no. Officially got paint all over me. I want to go over this little edge right in here that's kind of bare with what's left in my cup. Look at it. I need to take this over just so I can drop it off a tiny bit. Right there. I like this one a lot. I think it turned out really cool. Very pretty. I love the Van Dyke Brown in its simplicity because it really is allowing all of that red ochre and gold and champagne to really pop. The turquoise is always amazing. This is really pretty in here. This is so beautiful. Where was it? There was one part. Look at these little turquoise cells coming up in the Van Dyke. <laughs> Very cool. 
I love this part. Very pretty. This is a little muddy, but it's going to dry neat. This is gorgeous. This is going to dry so beautifully in here. So that's the Artist Loft Red Ochre and uh, the 24 karat gold and champagne and turquoise. Do you hear the hawks? Yeah. <laughs> I can't do it. You can do it. Can you do the hawks? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Exactly. Call the hawks. Cool would be if one came and like landed on my wrist. <laughs> Anyways, so this is awesome. I really like it. Um, I will show you guys when it's dry and I will show you photos of Candy's pour also. So I'll see you in a little bit. Thanks for hanging out with me. Okay, so this is a few days later. I love how this piece turned out. It's so cool. I love this red ochre and the gold together. Like a splash of sunlight. Just gorgeous. And the turquoise in there with the Van Dyke brown. Beautiful, beautiful. And I love this part. I see a dragon in the clouds in the sunset frolicking. <laughs> very, very cool. I really like how this one turned out. So we see the red ochre and the Van Dyke brown and the champagne gold and the 24 karat gold. Very pretty. Beautiful palette. I really like these colors together. Gorgeous. So I think you guys should check out Candy's page, Candace White on YouTube and check out her video. And uh, her pour turned out really, really cool. I really like how she did it. It's awesome. So. This was a lot of fun. I had a great time doing this. I enjoyed the test pieces. I love this palette, like I said before. So this was awesome. So check out her video and show her some love. Thank you guys all so much for being here with me and hanging out and watching. I really do appreciate all of you so much. And you know, let me know what you think in the comments. This one turned out pretty cool. This is neat when you stand over here, you can see all this bling, bling. <laughs> Very cool. Very cool. Like he's flying at sunset very neat so thank you so much for watching guys i will see you for the next one this one is dragon of the clouds it's a 24 by 36 have a great day